Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Don here once more and we've got a, another easy little magic trick for you to make for yourself. Uh, it doesn't take too much time and uh, very effective for any part of a magic show. Uh, so we've got a piece of ordinary glass. Okay, nothing untoward about I won't keep doing it, otherwise I might break it. Uh, but just an ordinary piece of glass. And we've got a frame for it to fit into. So if we put that inside the frame like that, it fits very tightly in the frame and it will not go out the bottom. That's quite solid and firmly inside the frame like that. Okay, so we've got uh, this device here. We'll just open that up. And this will fit that way round, will fit, hopefully, inside like so. Okay, so we lift the front up and the back like that, and we can still see the frame, but the glass has gone nowhere. And then with a silk, although I haven't got a silk, I've only got a piece of neck curtain, so <laughs> that will have to do. We can slowly, hopefully, pull that through the glass like so. Okay, and then we take the back down and the front down like that. Take out the frame and take out the glass. I can get it out. And we still have the glass intact like so. Okay, so that's the trick. Uh, the rest of the video will be how to go about making it, how to perform it. And uh, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Before then, though, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, uh, if you don't mind. It costs no money, uh, but you will be informed when new tricks come along. OK, let's get on with the video then. So the first thing we're going to need is a piece of glass. Uh, this happens to be 4 inches by 6 inches or 10 centimetres by 15 centimetres. Um, standard size sort of uh, small photo uh, frame glass. And uh, it just so happens that the, the, the material that I normally use, 2 millimetre card, if I put a spacer of 2 millimetres like that, it move, this is what we want for the glass to move in the frame like that. So the thickness of the glass must be obviously less than two millimeters, probably 1.8 millimeters, something like that. Uh, anyway, we're going to need a frame for it. So like I say, I'm using two millimeter, <laughs> using two millimeter um, cardboard. So that will make up the frame with the glass with the glass in like that and then with the spaces either side and then another frame on the top okay and we don't want anything at the top or the bottom we want the the um, the glass to slide all the way through okay so i have to go away and glue all these pieces together to make the two Make the two frames up like that's basically all it is. Two frames like that as the other one and then the space in between. Okay, so I'll go and do all that and uh, I'll be back in a jiff. Okay, so I made those two frames up one either side and then put that filler in between the two that's just slightly wider than the uh, or thicker than the thickness of the glass. Um, I put a uh, inset uh, a magnet either side as well for when the doors come up that will uh, lock the doors in place 
and I've also drilled a little hole at the bottom and I'll put a um, piece of a um, uh, what do they call them? Barbecue stick. Could be a, a, a cocktail stick or any, any bit of small piece of wood like that. Uh, so that's facing the audience. This will be covered with some kind of coloured paper so you won't see the, the front of it there. But then when you put the glass in, you can show that it's a solid piece of glass. And if I can manage it that will go and you can show or the audience in the front will see that the glass is permanently inside the frame and won't move anywhere it's solid in the frame once you've done that you can take that out secretly and uh, ready to uh, to put in the, the rest of the gimmick Okay, so that's that part. So what we need to do is bring the glass down so that we can put our uh, silk through the middle. So if we bring it down halfway, we've got to lose this part of the glass. So I've made this. Um, you, you can make whatever design you, you like, but it's, it's just this is a four-sided shape. And then in these two pieces, there are um, slots in the top and bottom of that and the top of that. So that the glass, well, let me put that back. This slots in there like that anyway. And then it will slide down inside the rest of this. If, if, if I make this different colours, it will take away the... Uh, well the obviousness of where the glass is going uh, but um, uh, anyway th this will be a brighter color and the, the bottom part black so it, it'll uh, sort of take that bottom part away from the viewers eyes uh, so that's the idea then that, that, that the glass slides down like that now to get the glass up and down um, if it's up like that it's it's not easy to get that glass down well, impossible in fact. But when we put our door on, which will be either side, these doors either side, and these will come up like that. Once that door is up like that, then your thumb pressing against that door will be able to bring that up and down with ease. And if it's only your thumb moving this side, nobody's going to see that in the front okay so that's how the glass is going to go up and down quite easily uh, so that's the trick that's uh, the, the the main part of it uh, now to make it look a lot better so we've got these doors either side that will come up and there'll be a little magnetic catch uh, to marry up to the to the magnet there like that and then uh, a piece of black cloth across these holes so uh, you can't see through them and then I've made just to make it look a little bit better I've made these to go either side one there and one there give it a bit of a Chinese feel and then these will sit on the over the top there and again with coloured paper to make it look any, every, anything to take away the viewer's eyes from the bottom so black at the bottom and then as colourful as possible at the top there okay so I'll go ahead and finish it off now do all the painting and stick all the coloured paper on and we'll see what it looks like then okay so finished everything off now um, I put the two uh, doors, if you like, either side, fixed with um, cloth tape or gaffer tape. I don't know, quite know what you would call it, but uh, they work very well as hinges. And because we've got the uh, magnets either side, then that will stay up alone like that. Okay, so we've got the 
the frame with our little bit of dowel in the bottom there. So to perform the trick, we can show the glass as a solid piece of glass, no holes in it or anything, and then fit this inside the frame and show that that's a tight fit in the bottom of the frame there and not going anywhere. And then just take that piece of dowel away uh, then just lower the doors down and we can fit this inside. <laughs> if I could see it would be easier like that. So we can see the, the, the frame and the glass like so. So as we lift the front up like so and lower the glass and then straight away lift the back up and then show the audience that they can see part of the frame still and then with a silk known in the business I haven't got a silk but I've only got a, a piece of dirty neck curtain so that's going to have to do uh, and then we can push that through the hole like so and ease that through what looks like the glass like that show it at any angle all the way through like that then we can take the back down lift the glass up and then the front down we can take the frame out and the glass out and show that there is no holes there in the glass okay so that's the trick I think um, <laughs> I always get to this stage and I never, I can never find the right adjective to, to explain uh, a good trick. I think it's worth making. Um, it, it takes very little material. Uh, all you need, well, all you need is a piece of glass. This frame I've made with two millimeter card and then this uh, like uh, pagoda shape. And then of course it's up to you how you want to, uh, um, decorate it I've, I've just copied other people's uh, versions of it that's all uh, just stuck pieces of uh, other pieces of two millimeter card on there okay the idea being i suppose is to misdirect as much as possible away from this bit so if this is painted black on a black surface with a black background and these down like that it, it takes away this part of the, the illusion and uh, people are focused then on this and, and they're, they're focused on the shiny paper. <laughs> that's that's uh, as, as much misdirection as I can uh, think of. Uh, OK, I'll leave it with you. Have a go at making it yourself. It would be an excellent addition to any magic show, I'm sure. Uh, so... Um, Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you haven't already, and if you don't mind, would you please subscribe to the channel, click the like button, and uh, if you click the all button, then you will be informed when new videos come along. Uh, in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be, in two or three days' time. Uh, and until then, bye for now.